I voiced a character thanks to y'all's. Mmm, it's an orange juice. Cookie Run Kingdom. I already played that on my more juice channel. Check it out. They actually sponsored this whole video and they gave me the opportunity to voice Stretch. Muscle Cookie. Stretch protein. It's such an adventure and everything else. There's so many famous voice actors, YouTubers, and everyone in here. They got Lily Pichu. You killed it. You killed it. so cute. If y'all follow my stream, you'll know that I always joke about being a voice actor and it Stretch. actually happened. Check out the results of my training. Stretch. Stretch. Bring it. Bring it. Out of my way. Out of my way, peasants. Okay, maybe he doesn't say peasants. <laughs> He's just a uh, meathead. That's all it is. If you haven't heard of Cookie Run Kingdom, it's like this kingdom base farming you can decorate it but don't look at my base it's not optimized for decoration it's optimized for resources and this is kind of later game anyways so you can farm all these resources i'm gonna collect some things for my train and then send it off again you basically just produce resources you can make sugar flour milk all of these basic resources so that you can craft them into candy saws and everything else there's so, so, so much to do in this game. You can do PvE or PvP. In story mode, I'm going to go into 113 on the first Choco Warehound Brute with the one, the only, the Muscle Cookie. You could have a team, but let's just showcase Muscle Cookie right now. We're going to just brute force these. Flexing time! Flexing time! Did he just... Did he... he I? I? Did I just throw dumbbells? Alert. Muscle Cookie isn't meta, so I actually don't know. He's just punching everything. <laughs> He's only uppercutting like a, a right bicep curl. Huh. 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 <laughs> Every time he's casting something, that's me. Oh my goodness. What does that ability do? Throws a dumbbell with fearsome strength. Single hit for 82% more damage. Okay. Oh, that was that was like a front splash area. All right, we got the Choco Warehound Brute. I ain't scared of you. I'm Muscle Cookie! Ooh, come on, just one uppercut. <laughs> Given that I'm overleveled and this is uh, one of the first stages. That was just a warm up. That was just a warm up? <laughs> I forgot all the things that I said. That's so cool. Oh my goodness. I'm actually Muscle Cookie. This was a joke because in my first thumbnail for the sponsored video, I was like, I'm Muscle Cookie. But then I, I'm actually Muscle Cookie. Oh, that's so good. Let's go into a, a really late stage. 175k power. Muscle Cookie's got 12k because I have him at level 28 with all my bonds and everything else. I want to see what happens when he dies. When I die. There we go. Muscle grabs. Muscle crab! <laughs> oh, that did not happen. <laughs> that's something I would say. <laughs> oh, that's too good. Every time I'm casting my ability, I wonder when he says protein. Muscle crabs. Muscle crabs. <laughs> that's so me to come up with excuses. Oh my goodness. If you want to check out this game, it's available for free on iOS or Android. They sponsored me to play this, and I love it so much that I play it every single day. Let's show them how it's done. Muscle cramps. So that's the ability. It was 82%, and I can level it up with these charge powders because he's a charge type, and he's made for the front. Let's level him up. Plus 26%. 111 damage. I'm going to get him? Me? Me to level 30. A balanced diet makes muscles grow bigger. Balanced diet makes muscles grow bigger? I woke up. I woke up and found a new muscle. I forgot I even said that. My muscles are perfect. My muscles are perfect. They are. Muscle cookie, I love you so much. Oh my goodness. And then you can equip all these toppings on your cookies as well. For all these different stats and abilities, it gets really deep with a lot of strategy. There's PvP Arena. Y'all want to see a cheese comp? So you got Ginger Brave, Tiger Lily, and Almond. Ginger Brave pushes them all back so that Tiger Lily can stun them. And then Almond chains them all together. Sorbet and Sea Fairy just crush them in one hit. Okay, maybe two hits, but still. That is the cheesiest comp and the cheesiest cheese. 
This is such a scam comp. It's so good. I got to masters using this cheese comp. I that shouldn't even be allowed. That's so good. So, so good. There's all of these different events in the game too that happen. So much content. There's even sub sub stories right now. Mala cookie just came out a few hours earlier. 108 stairs until Mala village. 108 steps. That's like a block. That's that's not even that far. <sighs> Milk cookie. You, you could have warned us that the way here would be dangerous. I happen to become good friends with Mala Sauce Cookie. The Mala tribe lives in the Dragon's Valley, and I highly recommend visiting them one day. They're some of the most hospitable and kindest cookies in all the lands. I can see that. I am truly intrigued. How could cookies live in such a fierce environment? I simply must visit the Mala tribe and see for myself. Where's the cookies inquisitive? W what if they get angry and ask why we're there? I heard the Mala tribe is really scary. You're not wrong, Strawberry Cookie. But you gotta stop being so scared. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it. We're just visiting after all. Ginger Brave is always so optimistic. What's this? The ground is shaking. Is it an earthquake? What is it? <laughs> Another round of drinks. Who that? No earthquake. It's the cookies of the Mala tribe. Let's hurry over and say hi. Oh, they're they're really aggressive. That's what it is. We ain't had a feast like this in forever. The valley is spewing fire. The village is back. <laughs> so they're they're kind of like really aggressive Vikings in the Mala tribe. I like it. So there's the story mode for that. I can collect my little houses there. Get some experience so I can level up Muscle Cookie again. This is all thanks to lifting and more lifting. Oh, the voice lines are so great in here. The director was amazing, giving me direction for all the voices and everything. I can't believe I'm actually Muscle Cookie. Also, if you've never played this game and you download the game in the description down below, do not level up Muscle Cookie that much. He's not that good. <laughs> Maybe level 20, but I wouldn't bring him up too much, you know? You want to focus on the epic cookies. Those are where, the, where it's at. The epics, the ancients, the legendaries. Notice all of my epics are level 60 and the commons and the rares, they're, they're kind of lower in the 20 range. Except Ginger Brave. Ginger Brave is a special one. You've got all the research too in here. It's like a fine line of do I max out my kingdom for more resource production or do I make my cookies stronger? Let's make them stronger. Oh, we've got the tropical islands too with all the pirate. What is Why is that on fire? We got to reclaim this tropical island. I'm going to use Dark Choco because he debuffs everyone. And then I'm going to use Espresso now that their defense is down. Latte Cookie to silence them and deal area damage. I'm not going to use Rye because we're, we're fine for now. And then Black Raisin and Rye is going to be able to splash the heck out of everyone and everything. Like, you know what? I'm just, I'm just going to unleash all of the spells and abilities. All right, let's speed that up to 1.5. I have all these scrolls plus defense. Faster cooldown and plus attack. The old Pilgrim Scroll, if you don't know what to do, always Pilgrim Scroll. So with Dark Choco, he's minus tw he debuffs them for minus 20%. So you almost always want to cast them first before you do anything else. And my Espresso is getting low on health. We're going to need to uh, finish him off real quickie. I didn't bring a healer. I goofed up. I didn't bring a healer. Dark Choco's got a tank for them. Black Raisin just splashes the heck out of everyone. Oh, Espresso's done. Uh oh, we can make it to the end. We can make it to the end. I goofed up by not bringing a healer. I should have brought a healer. There we go. So we got all these rewards for that. And now my espresso cookie's wet and he's got to recover in the sunbed for two hours. We've got the limited mayhem mode. It's kind of like a 1v1v1v1v1. And it's all in. You can't use duplicate cookies. It's really cool. I'm going to start off with the cheese comp right now. Gingerbread knocks him back. And then we're going to one shot the whole... Oh, oh, we didn't one shot. If I don't one shot them, that means I'm, I might die. Oh, my... Oh. The cheese comp only works if you can one shot them. I think I'm in danger. So our cook has got to finish him off. Okay, there's my second team now. That is not good. Oh, dear. At least I've got pure vanilla cookie just to give them the shield and the heals and all that good stuff. Oh my, sea, their sea fairy cookie is so strong. I don't like this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You're telling me that their party just wiped two of mine. Oh, oh my, oh no. Okay. 
I don't have any DPS. Okay, here we go. We got we got more attack power in this last team. We can do something, right? Right? Okay, Rai Cookie's got it. I need I need Herb. Herb's got a heal. Herb, you got it. Oh, okay. I'm not losing. You're losing. Oh no. No. We only got wiped because they had a really good comp. I mean, yeah, that's how it works. It's hard to cheese with Hollyberry. She just gives so much tankiness. I'm, I think we could cheese with this one. We just got to cheese the first party, and then we're good to go. Knock him back. Almond Cookie. Sea Fairy. Sorbet. There we go. One shot the whole party. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. Now we can cheese him. Oh, my goodness. Strawberry Crepe Cookie is just so strong. Okay. On to team number two. We're looking good. I think everyone is still figuring out the meta because this literally just came out today. So nobody knows like the optimal comps can since in this event you can't use the same cookies twice. Oh sorbet cookie just wiped their team. Okay, this is my second team now. They're doomed. They're so doomed. Ain't no way they're gonna survive anything. Holy 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 berries protected them a lot. She's got the shield ability. I almost just want to put muscle cookie in here just so I can he hear my own voice. <laughs> Can we beat them without going to my third comp? Probably not. What if we debuff them with Dark Choco before we die? Nope, the shield removes all that debuff. Rai Cookie deals a lot of damage. I remember when Rai wasn't even... People didn't even realize Rai was strong in the beginning. But this game's been out for almost a whole year now, so people are really finding the good, good strategies. Uh-oh, we're in gold too. And then you've got guild battles. I don't know how my guild mates are so good, but... There's really specific timing on here. With Licorice, I'm going to summon the Licorice Servants. And then I'm going to use Dark Choco to debuff right about here. Troom, Vamps, Sorbet. Activate my treasure with Licorice. Oh, this this dragon is a team effort, by the way. So it's going to take everyone in my guild to take him out. And then we got Licorice to summon. Sorbet and then Vamps. 4.6. 6 million damage in the dragon. I took out 9%. Not bad. It's a team effort. Oh, wait. That was a practice one. I did. I don't even have any attacks left. We've got the guild gacha too. Let's see what we can get in here in the cauldron. Got some topping pieces. Flame of unity to level up the guild. Experience. All of these rewards from that. And you can roll for all the treasures too if you have any. Gink goblins treasure. Squishy jelly. All the common ones already have maxed out. So I, I'm really looking for the epic ones. Let's see if we can get some good, good cookie. We got Ginger Brave and Strawberry in there. That could have an epic. Aw, no epic. You know it's when she stirs it aggressively, the witch, that we don't get an epic cookie. But we're going to stamp it anyways and bake some wholesome cookies. Got Princess Cookie. Not bad. Got a couple Soul Stones here and there. Muscle Cookie Soul Stone. This is going to be a common one. We got Strawberry Cookie. So cute. Custard Cookie and Clover Cookie in the front with Ginger Brave means it's guaranteed epic. Look at the love. She's stirring it so gently. It's so different. Rolling the dough with love. You can see there's one cookie cutter that's shimmering. So we're guaranteed at least one epic. Look how magical that is. This one's going to be a rare one. We got Clover Cookie. Here's the epic one. That's a special one, all right? We got Twizzly Cookie. For a backstory, I've rolled so many crystals, so many cookie cutters, didn't get a single soul stone. I had to get it in the event, and then I, I, I roll it on the second try. Well, I guess 20 tries, but Twizzly is high key really strong. We won't want to get Twizzly up there. I can star up Twizzly now. We got an adventure cookie because it's maxed out. I have mileage points for that. That's pretty chill. Can't believe we got Twizzly just like that. Mooncake rabbit, soul stone. These are all the pulls that we got from there. Unbelievable. Show me. So aggressive. So when you star up a cookie, their stats go up permanently. You can bring them up to five star. Give me everything you've got. There's the one star. I just realized that there's some voices in Muscle Cookie when you star them up. But my Muscle Cookie's already five star. I kind of want this. I need some soul stones. I have a feeling Twizzly Cookie's going to be super meta. That's going to be so worth it. So we got the Electroids from that. Basically, I want to roll the ticket on the first try. No way. You just want to keep going up and up and up with all the tickets. We're on version 5 of the reward omatic. You want the key card. I can't believe I got the key card in the first try on that. That's insane. We got... <laughs> That's a 1 in 15 chance or 6% chance to get it in one roll. To roll them both back to back is almost 1 in 100. That's so lucky. We got version 6. That's the good good. Now I have a chance to get Twizzly Gummy Cookie. I'm just happy to be on version 6 right now. Wow. 
I can't believe we rolled those like that. So we're out of electroids, but the fact that I can get Twizzly now, that's wow. We've got the sweet tower of chaos that you can climb. There's a really cool story here too with Red Velvet Cookie. I mentioned earlier about story mode. There's all of these different chapters to explore with all these stories. And then on top of that, dark mode, which I am really far behind on. Let's do Muscle Cookie one more time. This is the stage I want to show y'all. This is the cool one where there's like an obstacle and you can run across it and everything. Just like the original Cookie Run. You can double jump. I didn't miss any coins. You missed some coins. <laughs> I just realized that's my voice. Ugh. This makes me so happy that I'm in the game. That's so cool. Oh, I hate how the dumbbell just threw, went over them. It just arched. Not gonna lie, Muscle Cookie is not that good. Do not level him up. Oh my goodness. That was just a warm up. Relax, Muscle Cookie. Oh, that's so good. Huge shout out to Cookie Run Kingdom for sponsoring this whole video and everything. If you wanna check out the game, if you haven't already, you can check out the link in the description down below. I have a more juice channel that I, I post weekly on this game. I love it so much. Thanks for watching. If you wanna check out more videos that are up there, if you wanna subscribe, hit the bell button there. See y'all later.